All right, my controller, the uh, uh, Lynx controller. Got uh, a 12, uh, 12 port uh, faceplate here with uh, Cat5 sockets. Each of the, uh, uh, the lines off of a servo. I cut the pigtail off. Uh, cut the pigtail off about six inches long or so. Punch it down into the uh, Cat5 socket and then it gets plugged into uh, into the board there. So that's uh, this is skulls one, two, three, and then four, five, six, seven, and eight, etc. cetera. 16, uh, 16 servos I can run off there. The only problem is there's only 12 sockets, so I can run uh, 12 skulls off of uh, one box. I've got uh, three more controllers coming because I'm looking at about 18 skulls all together. 18 times four, so that's, that's quite a few. Anyway, the controller I've got mounted in the uh, in a 4x4 box. Uh, cut the hole on the front here for uh, uh, for the serial out into a uh, serial to, to USB uh, RS-232, and uh, uh, that's it for the uh, for the controller. Uh, let's see the skull itself. Uh, this is the best one I've got here. Uh, the orange. Now let's see, orange line goes to the NOD servo, the, the uh, orange uh, command line is here and goes down through this one to the NOD servo. The blue line, the blue command line goes to the tilt servo right over here. Uh, let's see, the green line comes down and goes to uh, 